Hey, I'm Mark, and today's project, I'm building a mantle for a customer. Um, this is out of hickory. It was a tree that just died on its own a couple years ago, and uh, it's going to be three inches wide and five foot ten long. I'm not sure about the width just yet. I've got to call in to see how wide the customer wants it. Uh, we also built some craftsman columns for them. We'll be installing up there as well. Uh, so first thing we want to do is get it cut to five foot ten, and uh, then we'll get it to the sawmill and get it trimmed down and, and uh, evened up. All right, now that I got both ends cut, um, I'm waiting on the width that they decide. Um, they gave me the stain they wanted. But I'm going to take my drop piece and just give a, <clears throat> go ahead and stain it and send them, shoot them a picture. Make sure that that's what they want. It's a Minwax Golden Oak 210B. And I'm pretty sure this is it. Alright, now that I've trued it up all four sides on the sawmill, <clears throat> I was able to get a couple other boards out of it too. It's a little over 10 inches, 10 inches and an eighth, where it worked out to be. This is going to be top, this is going to be the front. And for mounting, what I'm going to do is come in about 15 inches and drill a 5 8 inch hole about 6 inches into the wood in two spots. And then on the wall, this is going to be mine. It's a new house, and I've seen the construction. There's a 12, a 2 by 12 header there, two of them. And uh, we're going to put in two half-inch lag bolts into the wall. Let them stick out about 6 inches, cut the heads off, and then this will just slip onto those half-inch uh, bolts. And then we'll put a couple of Craig Tools uh, screws in to just keep it from slipping off. So let's get this over to the drill press. Well, next I come a couple inches over from the hole. I'm just gonna use a Craig tool here. I'll stick two of these. I'll come back and uh, plug that hole after we put the screw in. That screw is just going to keep it against the wall, keep it from sliding off those uh, lag bolts. Next, we'll get it sanded. Next, I'm just going to sand it with a 220 grit orbital sander. Not going to sand it. I want to keep all the sawmill marks in it. Just going to sand it lightly. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to take a rag and wipe on the stain. Really like this color. It really brings out that hickory. But I will give it two coats. Let it dry between. And we will finish it up. So it's been about 15 hours since I put the second coat on uh, of the stain. I'm going to be using a water-based polycrylate. It's an interior only for the finish. I will sand. I'm going to put two coats. I will sand between it with a 220. Uh, and these are the lag bolts we're going to be using. Half inch, about 10 inches long. I'm using a uh, synthetic brush. So this is the fireplace we're going to install it in. 
I've laid out the holes to match the beam and I've got the high electrical gap for mortar. I want to drill a hollow hole for my lag bolt so I don't bust the wood. Let me get to the side. And we'll put two screws in to tighten her up. Oh, like Plugging those holes, we'll stain them, sand them and stain them, or you won't see the connection. Well, that's the finished product. It turned out good. We just poured the sidewalk and installed the four craftsman columns all this morning. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next video.